this is a new spot. I was just at this the other day and I decided to finally put my rub brick to, to good use. I should probably mention that actually. I finally got a rub brick and needed an opportunity to use it. So I came here and rubbed the curb and waxed it. Turned out pretty good. I want to fill the gaps. I bought some lacquer, although the wax is set in there pretty good, so I don't think I'll lacquer that. But I'll do a couple of these in the straighter bit. Maybe one day I'll be able to do grinds, and then maybe one day again I'll be able to do long grinds. <laughs> Swap my trucks over. I'm not sure if it's going to work very well because the kingpins are sticking out quite a bit because they're pretty old trucks. there because I tried to bail out of it and the boat came with me. A few days later bits that I waxed already. I rub brick that and then just waxed it. Obviously at that point I didn't have the lack of the epoxy putty to fill the gaps. Just to demonstrate how clean this rub brick is wearing down. It's a bit windy the day so hopefully it will not be too noisy. in the car if I want to do that one but I'm thinking I'll save some for that ledge at the high school that was a bad idea I this wheel's down quicker than my wax how well this is going to work it's quite windy I know this isn't exactly the best technique for spraying but yeah, to be honest technique isn't going to save me when I'm getting blown all over the place like this Missed it. Thank you, wind. So that's another coat done. That'll do for the day. I'm off to work now. Although today's my last back shift, and then I've got a couple of days off, so hopefully I'll get to skate it at the weekend. And then, at the weekend. Is it going to be skatable? That's looking where needs another coat of lacquer. That's looking shiny. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. the bits that's already been waxed while I wait for this to dry on the ones that haven't been waxed. That's the plan. I don't know if I'll actually get to do that because it looks like it could rain any second now.
So if you notice that I'm coming in at a really wide angle, that's deliberate. I kind of know why it's not working when I come in parallel, but if I come in at a really wide angle, I seem to find it a lot easier to turn front side and lock in rather than stay straight on and have to shifty sort of thing. So that's probably the best place to start to get into grinds and once I'm confident we're doing that, I'll maybe try getting in the more sensible way. even filming there and I got a good one. I locked in pretty good. That's as good as it got but that's a step forward for me. I did nothing next, that's the end, sorry. Well actually, I did, but that's going to be the subject of another video. Thanks for watching, hope you all enjoyed, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. There's always new content in the pipeline, and hopefully you'll enjoy that too. All the best troops, see you later.